we doing, guys? Fantastic. Hello. Welcome to another amazing episode of The Gorilla's Kitchen. You are now under a flavor advisory warning. You're here to have a fantastic dinner. It's going to be a wonderful time. So I want you all to ask, what's the gorilla cooking? What's, what's the, the gorilla, gorilla cooking? cooking? We're going hot slaw, baby. We're going to bring it in. It's coming in hot. I've got an amazing cocktail here planned for you. This is actually going to be a keto edition of our show. So nice. this will be a nice, low-carb, high-volume, and high-on flavor episode for you today. So what's in our drink, right? So this comes down to one of our main sponsors of the show. It is Oso Distillery and Brewery. I think of them in that way because I drink vodka, not beer. So they are distillery, then brewery to me. Uh, but this is actually what they call their hashtag vodka. This is their main primary base vodka, no flavors at all. We have a ton of amazing flavors, of course. We can get a little funky with those later if we want to. But this is no sugar added, no cane sugar as they used to flavor some of the other ones. So it's going to be fantastic. We're starting off with this with our base. We're going to do a little uh, seltzer water with that, a little cucumber, a little lime, and some stevia to sweeten it up for you. Awesome. So for our main dish tonight, we're actually going to go with as you see, we have a, a nice big heaping pile right here. This is one of the most simple things in the world to make, guys. This is actually bags of coleslaw mix, okay? And typically you think coleslaw, you think cold. Not with me. We actually saute this up with a couple of our olive oils from our sponsor over here, which is a Queen Creek Olive Mill. And for you guys, I actually have the bottles I'm using for this right now, which is their roasted garlic olive oil which is gonna go in as our base. It's actually what's simmering ever so slightly back on the uh, pan behind me. And also what they call, this has actually won a silver award in an olive oil competition with over a thousand entries. So it's fantastic. We've got a blend of these two that are going on that are ruminating in here, creating some flavor for you and on the skillet over there. So then we're gonna chop a little peppers, a little onions. We're gonna get all of it together. And then of course we need our proteins, right? We need some animal in here. I have about two pounds of Italian sausage that are going to be going in. We're going to grind this up. I've already removed the casings from these guys. I left them in state to show you they were actual sausage links. So I've removed the casings. We're going to mash this all up together. Maybe that's a little more flavor to it and combine all of this into a wonderful dish. We ready to rock and roll? Yeah. All right. I'm going to bring down the heat on this just a hair until we're ready. How about we get started with the drink? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's do it. I'm known for a bit of a pour. Uh, I'm gonna try and take it easy on you guys. <laughs> what is everybody sad for? Jeez, you act like I'm gonna use it. This is pretty good right here, these things. What are you supposed to use these for? Any idea? I just... It's your ear and you can hear I can hear Ireland all the way. <laughs> I can hear my next whiskey calling. Oh. See what you did, Jason? I didn't say how I would be serving you. <laughs> that one looks a little uneven to me. Beverage equality is important. That must be what that's for. All right. I'm going to pop everybody a couple of cucumbers in here. You're going to need that. <laughs> to bring down the heat just for a second. The real heat, we had uh, one of uh, Oso's signature beverages we put together called Q the Limes, actually done with their jalapeno vodka. Mm. It was pretty fantastic. It was a lot smoother than you might imagine, but had a nice residual heat to it afterwards. And what'd you put with that? And uh, it was uh, the just their jalapeno vodka. What else did we add to it? Simple syrup, oh. and uh, what else? Cucumber. Lime, lime and cucumber. Because some of the yeah. sweet caught that heat. Yeah, absolutely. It does. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. Lime going. Sorry, seltzer water, not a whole lot of room I'm for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I think we'll survive together, won't we? All right. And we're going to do a little bit of stevia here. Probably opened. So, all right. I'm going to start working my way around here. 
Thank you. There you go, guys. Hold on. We will, we will all rally this together in just a moment. And with friends, with family, welcome to the Gorilla's Kitchen. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. It's official once you have a beverage in your hand. Are you happy to be here finally? I am. I am. Yeah. And we did a sweet cooking show the other day with this guy. <laughs> Doing this thing over here. Yeah. Some lunatic. Going around the kitchen. Getting everybody drunk in a hurry. What's the problem? <laughs> asking, everybody what, asking everybody what's wrong with that glass you got over there. It's empty. Oh, where are we going to start first? Let's start chopping some goodies, huh? that up. That's going to take a minute. It's going to break down. It looks like a lot of volume right now, but the stuff's actually going to break down quite a bit. As this starts to break down, I'm going to be adding my seasonings to it. But I, I wait because what's it going to adhere to right now? It's gotten really nothing, it's dry. Mm -hmm. So once it starts to simmer and break down, and then we're gonna start piling our seasonings in there and really making it good. Nice. Any pair of tongs, you can stay away from it a little bit is always nice. Just try and get underneath it and rotate it so you can get the the oil's mixed in. Try not to lose much of it behind your skillet. It's nice. <laughs> There's no way in the world I'm going to try and flip this thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> right? This is a six quart saucepan. So I'm going to start slicing up our veggies here while that simmers down a little bit. What we're going to do just our bell peppers, do a bell pepper variety. I happen to like anything that's not a green bell pepper, personally. <laughs> but uh, just that, that's just me. I, you, know, you can get a green bell pepper anywhere, but where can you find really good, gorgeous red, yellow, orange that are actually in really good shape? It's kind of rare. you got to hunt and pick through to find them, but it's worthwhile every time you do. Today, I'm actually, instead of going with a white onion, I'm actually going to go with a sweet yellow onion this time because I want to get a little bit more sweeter flavor. We're going to have the Italian sausage. We're going to have a lot of, a lot of intense flavors, so I want to go with a sweet onion this time around. So with this one, we're just going to take our ends off once again, just like I do with any citrus. So I'm going to make a little bit of a mess, but how I like to do it is give it a little bit of a score around one side. We're going to flip it around and do the other. That's going to let me get into this thing a couple layers in. And we're going to get rid of our dry stuff. Now with this, because I want a different sort of presentation, I'm not going to dice it. So I actually, I want to, I want to take it through the middle this way and just quarter it. But I want to go lengthways. And let's see how we're going to get this one. I want to cut the heart of that out of there. Don't need to be weeping in front of everyone. It's one of the reasons I also like to cut the ends off. I get rid of that, that connective bit at the end. That way they fall apart a lot easier. That way everything cooks together better. Behave. <laughs> Making you nervous. <laughs> Get on the business end of this thing. And see, this is that connective tissue I was talking about, or that, mm -hmm. that connective piece yeah. that, uh, that's why I cut the ends of the onion off, is mm, falls apart better. To get rid of that. Did you say before you could actually run that under some water or two and that would help? Yeah, like, uh, you know, a lot of folks would cut an onion in half, right? And so if you. A lot of times we'll just sit here with an onion cut in half and it's sitting up like this 
and they're cutting other onion wondering why they're why their eyes are burning, why their eyes are stinging. Yeah. But if you look, it's not just the juice. The thing, it actually has oils in it. And if you squeeze, you see it's, the juices and stuff are coming out. Well, that stuff automatically hits the air. It's an aromatic vegetable. So the aroma comes out of these things. So what I do, if it's gonna sit, if you're gonna let it sit for a little while, it's real simple. Just run it over water, slap it face down. There's no reason to be torturing yourself. You get rid of the extra oils and, and some of the juices there, and boom, you set it down and leave it alone. And that way it's not attacking your face while you're trying to cook everything else. But if it does attack your face, you know how to stop it. Exactly. Flowing. Yep. No, I don't. Other than lick a little bit of salt instantly will stop the tears. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I find that I find yeah, that uh, licking the salt rim of a margarita does the same thing. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There's the connection. <laughs> all I really needed was just the salt, apparently. That's all you needed. I'm gonna stick with my type anyway. Okay. I got my own my own solution that's working okay. Now would be a good time to start working in some of our seasonings. Now everything is entirely to taste, guys. I like a lot of garlic. I know some others do. So what I've got for you, I've got some garlic powder, black pepper, some Himalayan salt, smoked paprika, one of my absolute favorites. Now, I'm actually doing a little onion powder because the flavor is just a little bit different than, of course, your regular onion. And just because it's nice in the schnoz, nice and aromatic, makes the kitchen smell better, throw little chives in there for you too. So. We can go spicier with it if we wanted to. I'm a big fan of chipotle powder. Little chipotle peppers, really nice. See if I can get this mixed around so you guys start smelling all these goodies here in a minute. Holy Toledo. It's not that much. It's a lot. But remember, we got a ton of volume here. So that's looks a lot on the surface, but it won't be once we're into it. Now, I want to get this to a point where I can leave it alone for a little bit and start working on the sausage. Just want to make sure everything is coated. How's our drinks, guys? Fantastic. Good. Refreshing. Are you feeling refreshed? I am. You're healthy. All right. We cut our peppers and then we'll move into throwing this in and getting this going too. Now, easiest way to cut a pepper. Anybody know where you're supposed to do this? Now, here's what I used to do. I used to go da -da 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 -da, work my way around the edge ever so carefully and then pull it apart and look in there and go, oh, there's seeds in there. No, forget about it. There we go. Oh, okay. Great. Wow. Well, that's, this is the stuff we want. We don't want to worry about the other process. Come on. You know, right? Wow. Just shortened up your, your prep time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like a part-time job, you know, and if any of you out there have a better idea, please show me because I'd like to make it even quicker if possible. There's some dude that went to Le Cordon Bleu right now going, oh, I cannot believe it's not the right way. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I got to do this for you, Frenchie. Tastes just as good. So, get out there. I'm gonna do these in strips too. Just because I like the way that they look. And dicing will take a little more time. Yeah. 
Keep it down over there. <laughs> Can I have another drink? Yeah. You cut off after after a half. Not even well, not even one. To be fair, he was here last episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Those are good. You guys smell these yet? Yeah. These, this. Yeah. It's good. We eat with all of our senses. We need to engage them all every chance we got. So that fit. I'm going to crank this down. We'll let it simmer now. Find my my Captain America shield. <laughs> Gonna cover that beast. Temperatures are feeling pretty good. Now, oh. I love this tool. It does good things. How'd so. you get that one? I had one that looked. Yeah, I've got three of them, but just in case, one the handle was looking pretty bad. I think this may be a Walmart or a Target scenario, something like, like that, you know. But I like them because they have a, a nice, nice pointed edge to them. Mm -hmm. These things are perfect for making guacamole. This is really my biggest tool. So my guac turns out really super creamy because I chopped the hell out of it, and then fold it in and it turns in really creamy that way. But that way you don't have to worry about chopping your avocado really small, throwing it into a bowl. No. Peel them, throw them in, let this thing do the work for you. Then you can season as you're chopping them. So, but I am going to take a moment. I'm going to make sure. I'm just going to break this up a little bit to make life a little easier. You know, I, I was one of those latchkey kids, so it was a, a, a survival instinct. It was, hey, get home, do some homework, I dare you, you know, <laughs> figure out some way to eat and survive. Uh, and that was what it is, so I learned how to cook. You know, I could only survive so long on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Bologna is bologna, so, you know, boy, so long we're going to deal with that. So I started dealing with, started learning how to make pasta and getting into different meals like that, even from you know, age of eight, nine, ten years old. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but still, thought the beats a good PB&J sandwich. So right? self-taught cook? Huh? Self-taught? Self-taught, absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Probably saved a lot of money in culinary school, right? Mm -hmm. So, not that there isn't stuff I can learn. I can learn stuff every day. But I find that I learn a lot from folks who have food trucks. And, uh, channels like this. Right. Channels like this. Other people on the YouTubes. Uh, on the World Wide Web? On the World Wide Web. On the, on the interwebs, there's, there's a lot of uh, smart things going on out there. It's a good, uh, some smart fellas. I took a picture of my dad. He's like, don't be putting me on the World Wide Web. I'm like, well, first of all, nobody calls it that. Right. <laughs> Second of all, I'm going to put you wherever I want. <laughs> Listen, Joe Lieberman, sit down. I'm putting you anywhere. You wish. You know? They'll go, oh, I don't want to get found out there, you know. Really? Because people pay hundreds of thousands of dollars every year to get found. You think it's going to happen on accident? You think your stardom is just going to happen accidentally? Like, yeah. look at this guy doing nothing in the middle of nowhere, pissing off at people and you know, walking across his lawn, you know? Angry guy shouting from his front porch. No, nobody's looking for that guy, okay? They, want, they need help finding things that they're actually looking for. And it ain't you, Pops. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's a lot of fats in this butt. We need to get this temperature up to start, have it start releasing those oils. But you know what? I'm even going to help it along a minute. Because I want to add a little flavor. Yeah, nice. All right. How's everybody feel about a little fresh basil? Absolutely. Let's sure. do that. 
<laughs> it is summer, right? We need to keep things a little bit fresh. So I'm actually going to toss in a little bit of this Valencia orange. Just to get the aromatics going, I want to get a little bit of citrus going. Before I do it, let's toss, pass it around real quick. Everybody get a shot. Who knows? Like, yeah. 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 Just smell it. Don't <laughs> drink it. Go for it. Hold it upside down. There we go. What I really want, I'm not going to put that with the meat. I'm actually going to toss a little bit of that into the slaw. But I'm actually going to do a little bit of fresh basil. I know you're in there. There we go, baby. Go a little basil crush right there. Now, see how we're doing. Oh yeah. Now, that's a jalapeno one. That's a little jalapeno. You better be less than generous. <laughs> Just a few drops. Habanero. <laughs> Throw a little 27 habanero in there. I just want a few drops of there. Or ghost pepper. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Just because I want to freshen this up with a little more citrus. Okay. We're not going to go crazy. There's a lot of heavy flavors in there, so. And then tell me if you can taste those later on. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm, it's coming together. Not quite as tender as where I want it yet. Close. So you see a little sausage pop out here. Easy. Pop it on the floor. Hey! hey. <laughs> My back was turned. <laughs> My back was turned. I thought he saw a little, a little sausage popping out. I don't know. I'm just getting excited. Man, you look good. Hmm. It is food porn. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things I like to add, I like to add a little basil and oregano. But what I like to do is, you can't just pour it in like this, okay? There's, it's really dry. There's no, no oils to it. There's nothing going on. Yeah, it creates a bit of a nice smell. But what you really need to do, even with this, you got to actually grind it in. You got to crush it into your palm, grind it up. You actually release the oils back out of the dry pieces. Well, you see, it actually changes a little bit in your palm. You grind it up. About ready to combine these two so they can make their sweet, sweet love. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Now it's behaving, it's looking right. And you, my love, oh, look at you. You two were meant for each other.
Now you two get along. You make it happen. I'm going to close the door so you can commence the romance. Right. I'm going to leave the oils right here. Keep that stuff going. Everybody's so quiet. What are we doing? We're, checking We're all in. checking, checking in, in, man. <laughs> Jeez. Update and status over here. <laughs> Check in. Talk. What do you want? <laughs> Make up your mind already. Seven. Thought this generation was technologically advanced. What's going on? <laughs> My kids we are. think we are a bunch of young kids. Yeah. <laughs> You get home, your kids will show you how to do this. It'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> Boom. Thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome. Hey. hey. Oh, that's great. That's cool. You gotta post that one. Great. You got a good boomerang of you. <laughs> nice. You're welcome. I love it. <laughs> Didn't think you were getting away, do you? In you go. I'm going to take the heat all the way off of that one. All right, guys. So we've got our refills. We're ready to rock and roll. About ready to pull these things off together here in just a moment. Those looking pretty good? There we go. Did that work for you? Dude has not had that was good for me. <laughs> was it good? Was it good for you? <laughs> Can you feel it, baby? So good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. It's gonna be a little bit more crisp than I want to, but it'll be the last thing that I add to your plate. Okay. So I'm gonna start asking for plates now. <laughs> Thank you. In case you're wondering, that's really hot when it just hit my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh. Okay. You don't have to keep talking to me, sweetheart. We're good. We're good. Thank you. I hope you're hungry. These aren't dainty oh, little kitchen, so like, like kitchen cooking show uh, portions here. No, because I want you to actually eat. Yeah. Eat my <laughs> food. Come on. Trina, let's go. That's Carrie, let's go. I got to say, Carrie, the olive oil that's still at the bottom of your bowl isn't going to hurt this meal at all. I wouldn't think so. She what I call a flavor preemptive strike. Flip these around. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There we go. Careful Beautiful. plates are really hot. The temperature transfers through these plates very quickly. <laughs> we got good colors. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody can really wait to take a bite, but wow. so I want everybody to, uh, in just a moment, Oops. once everybody's had a chance. <laughs> It got real quiet now, I know. Well, you said don't eat. Yeah, yeah you said don't eat. We're so I'm hearing uh, silverware on plates here. I know somebody's eating something. I'm stirring. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm getting it ready. So what, what do you call this again? And I'm eating. Thank you, my man. Careful, guys. Super hot. So, so this basically... I, I would call it a hot slaw meal. Slaw. Really, it's just hot slaw. You can do any sort of meat you'd like with it. Uh, I've done grilled chicken. You can do steak. You can do really whatever you want with it. Uh, it's sort of a deconstructed stuffed pepper, if you will. 
Uh, I like to do peppers this way and uh, and just get them nice and soft, get everything all together. Uh, I like the, the, the cabbage or the coleslaw mix, provides a lot of volume, so you feel like you're really full, but it's not a lot of calories. So we've got uh, very little carbs going on there other than what your typical veggies are. Good protein. How's the Italian sausage, guys? Everybody take a bite. Please let me know. Everybody get in. Let me know what you think. What's almost as important as feeding you guys is feeding our folks out there. I'm gonna hand this off to our lovely assistant and photographer and she's gonna get these wonderful pictures for you guys. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And there you have it, folks. That's really awesome. good. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Not too much of a fuss for a meal, you know? Uh, go a lot quicker, of course, if you're just doing it for yourself, uh, as opposed to doing it for seven. But yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty quick deal. And uh, a lot of times if we can't figure out what we really want, but I know I've got some coleslaw mixes, I usually keep a couple bags on hand anyway. And, you know, we always have some form of protein in the house. You can fry up some chicken in the skillet if you want to, or, you know, throw it on the grill really quick. Yeah, we've got a quick meal. Mm -hmm. And even the kids, strangely enough, the kids even actually like this. Quite a bit. I'll change the flavor profile. I'll put like a, a pinch of actual sugar into it uh, with the slaw sometimes and then saute that up a little bit. And the kids actually like that a lot. Um, but, you know, yeah, there we have it, guys. What do we think of our flavors? So good. So Thank delicious. You. Thank you. Awesome. you. I think um, BKM would be putting that orange oil on the plate because it's real good. Right? Mm -hmm. You can taste it. <laughs> so the orange oil is a nice compliment? It really is, yeah. Perfect. If anybody likes some, I'd be happy to give it to them. You want to try some? Sure. Right on. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, sounds good. There you go. And I'm going to have my dinner. Nobody minds horribly. Perfect. So, right on. Well, all right, guys, there we have it. Thanks for being a part of another episode of the Gorilla's Kitchen. Please remember, folks at home, to click the subscribe button, follow us again. We're going to have a ton of great stuff coming your way really soon. You can reach out to us on thegorillaskitchen.com or the Twitter, really, if you care to, at the Gorilla Chef. We've got it pretty much covered all the way around. Uh, Facebook, of course. And please join us on the Facebook community, which is at the Gorilla's Kitchen. So hope to see you all next time on another great episode. And thanks for being here today. Thank you.